Good evening, folks, and welcome to this discussion on CRED and McDonald's. Uh, let's get started. So we'll cover firstly CRED, and then we'll move on to McDonald's. And the challenge per se was specifically on how do you improve this offers page, right? And when by offers page, it's not just any other offers page because most apps have offers pages. The thought was, how can this be made relevant to CRED users, right? So CRED as an app itself is very different from most apps. Uh, it has its own design style. It has its own way of doing things. So can this page be made in that way or not? That is That was the mood question. And not just that, the other points that matter a lot more are that CRED's offer page can't be just like any other offer page, right? I mean, if you see, say, a Go Ibibo or a Make My Trip or any other company online platform's offer page, this page cannot look just like that. that. That's the overarching thought process, right? Because that is what an expectation has been created around CRED. Now, if CRED was not CRED, yes, a lot of people have done a great job. But CRED with all its data, with all its data cohorts, right? When I say cohorts, I mean there are a group of people who are similar-minded. Can more be done? And that's what we kept feeling when we were looking at the submissions as well, that was there something more that can be done? Now, what is that more? We will touch upon once we see some of the submissions. But yeah, these were the larger thoughts that, you know, this can't be just another offer page that you see across apps. There has to be a little bit more. Uh, there were there was just one winner that we chose because there were others who were decent, but we never we didn't feel it was good enough to be a second place, right? And the, the reasons are because there were some gaps, right? And the gaps, largely, if you see the evaluation criteria, you'll get a sense of what we mean, right? First of all, the relevancy of the offers. Now, remember, CRED has every almost every information that it needs to judge me as an individual, right? CRED is only available to people who have a credit score and a certain credit score above that. Only then you have access to it. They are credit card users, right? Uh, so obviously, we are going to niches right now. And you have almost every per perceivable information about this person because they have shared their bank account. They have shared most likely their SMS history where you get to know what were the transactions that are happening. And it is a data company more than anything else. So the relevancy of the offer is the most important thing, I believe. Rather than showing 270 offers in a beautiful way, it is about what is the most relevant offer for me who I am most likely a very discerning kind of a user. I'm not like the traditional user who is, you know, offer hunting. Yes, obviously, rich people are also, I'm not saying rich, but yeah, people who are in that category are also offer hunting at times, but for different reasons, right? Their, their percentage is very different. They're not looking for 5 rupee offers or 10 rupee offers. They're looking like, oh, can I get a delta of, say, 10% on a 10,000 rupee? That is that is a lot, 1,000 rupee discount. That is the kind of persona that we are looking at, right? right? Uh, so offer relevancy was the most important thing. Some people did, in fact, the winner did, and some of the others also did, but a lot of people completely missed this. And CRED obviously presently doesn't do it. So obviously the baseline itself is not great. But our expectation was that some people would look at that, right? Then nudges uh, such as popularity claimed by others, etc. See, remember CRED has data on who is claiming what offer in what vicinity, right? And so, for example, there is an offer on, say, Bombay Shaving Company. Exclusive offer. It's an exclusive offer. All offers are exclusive. But a lot of similar age, and they also know my age. They know where I stay. A lot of people in, say, I'm staying in Thane right now. A lot of people in Thane who are CRED users are buying, taking that offer. Why can't CRED have a specific, you know, offer near you and a lot of people, 29 people today, you know, took that. Now, obviously, it has to be done in a subtle way. It cannot be in your face kind of a thing. But can those kind of nudges be created is what we were looking at, right? And different card styles, yeah. So this is very important. There, I saw in, so I'm not a CRED user, but I saw initial screenshots and there were 270 offers, 300 offers, XYZ offers. What matters is not the number of offers. What matters is how I'm able to grasp because most likely I'm going to do one or two scrolls or one or two taps across and then I'm going to give up, right? Unless I'm very, very keen on picking one offer or finding it and I know it exists. So breaking that scroll with different card styles was a very, very important thing which some of you did do, right? You put some different elements in there. You put some different categorizations, but some of you just put cards as it. So you'll see when, you, when we see some of the submissions, what I mean by that. And minor point, so CRED's design system, I'll, I have one point here on what its design philosophy is, and this comes from that. Given that it's all black and white text on that, largely, right? The legibility of the offer actually mattered here, right? Because a lot of the designs we saw, there were backgrounds where you're trying to match CRED's guidelines also, but somewhere the offer is not, well. Uh, you know, legible at all. You know, what is what is exactly written? The heading is not legible. So those kind of things also mattered. And obviously now this has become a, if you see the two challenges, overall design cons consistency is becoming a common point. I guess we'll have to drop that. It's a given now. 
but with large app this becomes a very important thing and i'll give you an example where this kind of interferes with the rest of the elements right so with that i'll come to you know who was the winner so prajwal was the winner there was just one winner and we liked a lot of things in this as i mentioned you know there is a categorization which already exists nothing new here as such but he's added brands on top of that right and he's added an element here which although there is a small toggle uh, drop down sorry in the uh, actual app this does a much better job because now i know that axis bank represents this uh, what is it maroon kind of a color maroon or i don't know exactly what the color is but that is axis bank so hdfc would be something like a darkish blue or sbi would be slightly lightish blue i can very quickly relate to that right and obviously the visa etc those kind of details help rather than just a text drop down right so it it starts from the top these brands are not a big fan of the circle because as i said this is the problem with cred's design system right everything is square so when you see square logos are all square right so how do you put uh, square logos in spotlight so a few people have called this area spotlight some have called it different categories it becomes a challenge right so if cred was not so closed about how things should be this would have looked better like all circular would have actually looked better but that's not possible so this kind of does not marry but still it, the idea is very good because most likely i'm coming with a brand kind of a thought process so that gives me one level of additional categorization right then it's curation right so the offers this this is exactly what i was saying right curated for you makes a lot more sense for me now how that curation happens obviously is a product detail right so you need to conceptualize how that's going to happen but at least as a concept from a design perspective you can do some elements here maybe a little bit more copy in terms of why that curation has happened right so for example in instagram post uh you are being shown this why that if you can give that makes a lot of sense right say for example a friend of yours has kind of recommended i don't know if cred has that system but those kind of concepts would be great right and then expiring soon a few of few of you have done that whereby you know an offer that is expiring soon is very very visible and again all of this is happening in one fold that's the most important thing very likely that cred may have something in two folds three folds niche kahin to hoga but in one fold you can see there are different card styles there is different data that is shown and curation is given more prominence right so that's why he won it was a stand out from the others uh then we had one more from intias now we really like the you know appeal of this page appeal in the sense the colors but i have my doubts in terms of whether cred itself currently uses these kind of colors and icons i am not exactly sure my sense is in the new design system they don't do it and none of the pages as far as i know have this uh, strong colors that are there it's all black largely black and you know some accents uh, so hence maybe that doesn't make that much of a sense but the way it highlights the page it makes a it makes the page look nice more than anything else he's added some categories decent job but yeah there could be lot more as you saw you know you just compare these two there's a lot more that one can do and the idea was to use the information that is there about the user here it it i mean if it's about me or nishit or somebody else all of them will have a similar kind of experience right also one small minor point and not picking on intias but if you say all of us this drop down actually opens up the different cards that you have suppose you have four cards or five cards you know uh which offer is relevant for which card now you have to figure out yourself right so for example all offers across all cards maybe you could have had a nudge here saying ki this is on an access card or this is an hdfc card or you know this is an indesin card that could definitely help because i don't have to keep toggling and within the offer then go and figure out what are the terms and then come back or toggle this and then figure out which are the offers that becomes as or it could be a toggle or you know a switch here something of that nature which could help the user but a decent job much better than what the current cred page uh, offer page looks like so well done there and he was an honorable mention there was one more which is for swarnama and see the concept is so similar right as i said spotlight she's used this but the problem is this marriage does not happen very smoothly and it's not it's not your mistake or a fault of the design it's just that the way the way cred has been designed marrying say a circular logo or a circular spotlight kind of a thing with the rest of the elements which are all boxy and square is a very difficult thing some of you have pulled it off here it's not come out that well but yeah the idea we get very very clearly and see how similar the two thought processes are right so most people are thinking in the same kind of space very nicely designed page as i said again there is no curation of the offer hence maybe you know we could not pick as a winner uh, and this looks like any other offer page there is uh, i am getting an unstable internet in case that is happening bear with me but yeah i hope i hope uh, you are able to see over this right and i hope the recording also works out fine more than that so these were the three uh, kind of ones which we called out and there was one more which we did not call out largely because you know this actually does not solve the problem makes it even more difficult but it looks so nice i don't know if this was the original cred offer page i have seen this kind of a page before 
maybe it was the games that they were running. I've seen something similar, but it looked nice. That's why I'm calling it out. Not that it's a great submission because it makes the job of finding an offer actually very, very difficult. If you see one, one card at a time in this entire uh, page or screen, you can actually see only one offer. I want to see multiple offers. And again, curation and says, so this is, I think, from them. Yeah, just wanted to call that out. So this was from Cred. Uh, and one last point on Cred that, you know, some people, uh, I mentioned on the group when I shared uh, Cred.design that page, and I mentioned that I'm not a fan. Somebody asked, like, why am I not a fan? I'm not a fan in the sense I don't have anything negative against uh, Cred, but I'll, I'll just share two or three points, right? One point I just showed you, right? If you go, if you try to create something different, which is what credit is trying to do, right? The, the standout, it's trying to create an identity for itself. Every single element within the cred app has to be designed, right? Literally from an arrow to a drop down to a search icon, you, you cannot use standardized things because then that looks common, right? So that becomes a hassle. And that becomes a hassle more so not just from, you know, from creation perspective, also from an implementation perspective, change perspective, new feature creation perspective. Now, what is the value addition of that, all of that? Because I, as a user, so for example, most of us are used to seeing our OS design systems, so to speak, right? An iOS user is used to seeing how the elements on a screen kind of look like, generally used to most of them. Most apps follow similar kind of things. A tray, how it comes down, the animation that the way it comes down. A Google person is used to how seeing how, or rather, a, rather than Google and Android person is used to seeing it in a particular way. Now, when you see a cred system, you have, your brain has to, that initial, and I'm talking about new users, people who already know they may not have that much of a hassle, but for new users, which is a challenge. I, I heard recently that Cred's user base is kind of plateaued. It's not trying to go into payments. The problem also is that new users will find, and somebody mentioned it, this becomes jarring to them. So for us to understand what is happening takes a little bit of time. And there's this principle, which I was speaking to a client day before yesterday, there's something called Maya, right? And I've spoken about this much before also, which is called most advanced yet acceptable, right? So you have to create design in general, and this is not about just credit. You have to create design that is acceptable to the user. If you try to create boxes everywhere, and if you try to create logos, which are boxes, and people are used to now seeing circular ones, and used to means what? Like it's across, right? You see most of the apps, most of the places it's circular. Now you try to go boxy. Yes, you stand out. Yes, you're different. But for a normal user, say 60, 70% of the users, it's not a great experience, right? Great experience, what do I mean? He has to understand, okay, this box is like right? And that one second that it takes, or even a millisecond it takes extra, is it worth the hassle? Just so that you have a unique identity. Uh, while that identity, I know, I great oh, great work on their part to you know, create that identity and keep refreshing it every few years. I'm not a fan of doing that because it becomes a hassle for the actual user. Somebody is used to seeing similar kind of screens across. It's better to do it and then leverage what you have, right? As a core, the core of cred is data rather than the design. Now design has become the main part of it, but is it really from a business perspective worth it or not? I don't know. I'm not a fan of it in that sense. So just a small explainer on that. And also from creation perspective becomes a hassle, right? As you see, you want to tweak this becomes a hassle. You have to be ingrained into the cred philosophy to adopt it. You want to do circles, you can't do circles. You have to do square boxes and whatnot, et cetera. And this is just one screen. I'm sure there are so many other screens where some design decisions are being made because of the design system. And if the design system was simpler and easier, just as others are, then things would be easier, right? So I don't know. Design is for humans or humans have to adopt to design. That is a conundrum that most people have. I believe cred has gone the way that, you know, humans are for design rather than the design is for the humans, right? That's why I'm not in favor of it. It's okay. They want to do it. That's their choice. I mean, and nobody's going to stop them from it. So that's that's pretty much for cred. If you have any questions, etc., do drop them in the chat. I'll try and cover them. But now I'll move on to the other challenge, which was McDonald's. Now, McDonald's is a very interesting kind of thing. And this, I'll just show you the pointers. And this will kind of give you an idea. Uh, McDonald's is a very confusing app. In fact, it's a slightly confusing company in India. McDonald's globally is a brand very well known, very well established. The largest, I say, I think USR in the world. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, by far, I think the largest, right? And they have the same app across all the countries, right? Within each region. So in India, you have two McDonald's apps. And within that, you have a region which is franchises, right? So you have a Devani Food Works, I believe. Uh, no, Devani. Uh, there's a West, West Side, uh, West Life Dev, which is for Mumbai and South. And there's one more Hard Castle, I think. I, I, I don't remember the exact name, but they're different franchises. And because of the different franchises, Users in North, say a Delhi person will see a very different app or a design from a person, the same app huh? uh, from a person, say, sitting in Bangalore, right? That happens. And that has been the problem with most people who've taken part in the challenge, right? Um, first of all, they downloaded the wrong app, although we gave the right link, right? 
and then they saw the use case that was not relevant. So first is the confusion with the company itself. That's not your mistake. That is how it is. You have to adopt to it and understand it. But the more important thing is understanding the primary use case. And it could have been possible for me to tell you on the group that okay, primary use case X, Y, Z. But then the whole charm of the challenge goes away. The primary use case for those who are users of this app, you know, would uh, know it very, very easily. If you go to any McDonald's store, you'll see youngsters. And I also discovered this, I think, abhi ho gaya, char, teen char ho gaya. but it's an offers app, right? To be consumed at the store. So you take the app, you go to the store and you see an offer that is relevant to you. You redeem, you tap it and there's a QR code which you redeem at the machine or at the counter. And then you get an offer. Pretty cool offers. If you've not checked it out, do check it out. But that was the primary use case. There is Mac delivery, there is profile, there's et cetera, et cetera on that, on that app. Absolutely irrelevant, right? Say 90 or 95% of the use case of that app is just for that offer, right? Now, if you understood that, you know what to do. If you've not understood that, then you're trying to figure out what to do because there are 15 use cases that you think, are offers, dikhana hai, profile, dikhana hai, Mac points, dikhana hai, kya kya dikhana hai. So once you know it, things become easier. And obviously, we don't want to give it away. Those who know it obviously had a head start. And those who didn't know it, now you know. And basis the winners also you obviously gather, right? So with that, with these two, I'll come to the last point later on. But with these points, I'll come to the winning entries and the honorable mentions, right? So this was the winner. And I would say this such design is not the best. There are much better designs, so to speak. But she hits the use case absolutely spot on, right? On the homepage, what do I want to see? A way to redeem the most popular offers. And most popular, ka matlab kya? it's not just... Uh, popular for me, but in that vicinity, for example, right? So you have a Delhi, for example, what people are claiming. And generally, these are the best offers. She's actually, I don't know if she's an actual user and avid uh, McDonald's uh, consumer, but she's picked up the very, very relevant offers. And these are the offers actually which I use. And the CTA is spot on. Scant maybe the color of the CTA could be slightly different because grays, I don't know. Maybe if it's yellow, hota toh, uh, it would clash. That's why she's done this. But scan to redeem, right? So she has understood what the actual use case of this app is. Rather than what most people have, ki, thik hai, jo dikh hai, waise kar do. Uh, so very nicely done in terms of understanding what is needed. The cards could have been slightly better. Yes, the uh, images could be better. Definitely, I'll show you some others which are much better. But she hits the use case absolutely spot on. And that's why she's the winner of this uh, challenge. Very well done, Disha. In terms of prioritization, understanding what needs to be done and getting it executed in a way that is usable for the users. Then rewards are absolutely important. Again, when you go to the store, what they ask you to do, just to let you know, they ask you to scan your QR so that when you are making a new order, you get points basis that, right? So that, that is the loyalty kind of a thing, which is not quite common. Third day coffee has this, all of these guys, Starbucks has this, all of them have it. But this is a very important use case. She's kept uh, order, she's kept explore all of this. I like the way she's used those icons also because the current icons that McDonald's app has are pretty, matlab, old school and they look very, very cheap to be honest. So good work. Overall, really, really like the solution. Design code, obviously, I mean, you'll see some of the other ones or be achha ho sakta hai, but that was not the main consideration. The consideration was prioritization. So this is Disha first. This is Omkar second. I think kudos. I mean, fantastic work in terms of the design quality. And in fact, we didn't want to give him second because he's missed a lot of use cases. But the design is so good. It's so, so damn good. Uh, and if you just, you know, spend two minutes, you'll see what effort he's put in, right? So for example, first of all, managing those colors, managing the red and yellow. First of all, these are clashing colors. Managing it beautifully in a card that has been pulled off very nicely. The profile icon is red. The home icon is red. This, uh, just zoom out a little bit. Don't look at the text and the images. But just look at the card styles and the card colors that have come out. Beautifully done. This, the way the, you know, the background to this card has been given very nicely done. But the most that I like the most is how he's put the search bar behind. And obviously, usability-wise, you might say, yeah, it's not good. But I'm just saying, appreciate the design for two minutes, right? Sometimes you just got to sit back and say, yeah, beautiful design guy. But the problem, so that's why he's not one. And in fact, he was not going to be even second. We said, yeah, quality of design is fantastic. Is that two, three things. First of all, the main use case here, pe, first up, first up, which is hai, is about getting redeem now offer. Yes, but he's taken away primary navigation, which is there. Why has he done that? I do not know, right? If you see here, that navigation kind of helps, right? And you could have used the scanner one, which is there for, you know, showing your reward point that has been taken away. Some of the decisions don't make sense, right? Overall design is fantastic. Overall CTA copy, everything is nice. But those minor, minor points kind of, you know, pull it back. Overall, I would say this was probably the best design. In fact, the best design across a few of the last previous few challenges, across Craig, this, this, very, very nicely done. I'm thinking of, you know, if Omkar, you're listening to this later on or right now, 
I'm thinking of reaching out to you. We'll try and you know have a session where where you could explain to us how you created this and how much time it took you. Because there was a question on the group which said, "Kya, how do we go about doing this?" And not how do you do Figma, but how do you you know basic elements? How do you put in place? And how do you go about doing it? If you can explain, I can also explain it, but that wouldn't make much sense. But when you do it, I think it will have value. So I'll reach out to you for that. And this is probably this is the one that we could review, right? So fantastic work, Omkar. Zada time Omkar ko diya rather than the you know because the design quality is fantastic, right? And I'm not even touching the drop shadow and the borders, etc. Beautiful, I love the work. Okay, then coming to some these are the honorable mentions. So as you see, as you can see, right? Uh, calling out the offer points are mentioned. Uh, scan to redeem has been pulled out. Nice icons. Good, good points. But again, you know, compared to the other two, this kind of was a slightly behind. So hence, I mean, it was very, very close. But yeah, Dishas was spot on and in the face. Absolutely, I think the use case. Just one point, and I think I don't know if this is the uh, this. These are the cards that are shown somewhere. But you know, these coconut trees or whatever they are, just to show summer, kind of make the app a bit noisy. I know it's a it's a design element. So if that element changes, like the banner changes, things look better. But you know we have to look at the overall picture. So if this was not like this, and maybe the card style was slightly looser, or you know not four into four, two into two kind of a grid, maybe it would look a little better, right? A little bit more space. Yeah. So this was from Soham. This is from Swarnama. Swarnama, I think two two times she's come in, in cred as well as this challenge. Just one qualm. Overall, very very good quality design. Uh, the scanner code it doesn't actually work like a scanner. Like you have uh, for a UPI, where you tap it and you have to show the, uh, you know, you have to scan it. That's not how it works. It is a redeem kind of thing. So while the CTA makes a lot of sense, the way it works is slightly different, right? You you have to show the QR rather than you have to scan the QR. So anyway, yeah, this could also be. I mean, in fact, actually, it could also be about my, uh, you know, profile ka scanner. But we'll call out on that here because it looks like a scanner that I do. It opens up the camera. Anyway, minor point. This is one element that maybe doesn't have that much value. You just need to know the total points. It's not like the eat short challenge where you unlock certain things, right? You don't unlock anything this way. The unlock happens via the offer that is mentioned. If you have 300 points, 500 points, you get a Mac power for those kind of things. So this is giving it the first prominence that kind of takes away, but the design quality is very nice. I, I generally like very clean designs and this is a very, very clean design. Very nicely done and well thought out. I have Sonam here mentioned in Swarnama. I hope I've, I've uh, mentioned the right person. But anyway, I, I hope this is the right one, Swarnama. If this is you, very well done. Nice work. And this one, this is the last one. So this is a person from uh, Asana. I don't know the full name exactly. But this is, uh, some, I pulled this out because this is a submission from Bangladesh. Uh, this person happens to be from Bangladesh. I just found out today. Uh, I think overall, this is a very nicely done design. It is a usable kind of a design, much better than what exists currently for the homepage. But just that the spacing and the amount of information that is shown, maybe so all of this copy is not needed. I just wanted to show it because I wanted to call out the person who's taken part from Bangladesh and has got the context very. I don't know if you guys have the same offers there in Bangladesh. If you do, great. If not, then yeah, we are enjoying a few benefits. And you can ask McDonald's to have a similar app. And he's mentioned Mumbai. I don't know how. He's got the context and all of those elements very nicely. Uh, kudos to you for that. Well, that's pretty much it. I just quickly go over the criteria for uh, McDonald's. It will be a revisit kind of a thing. Coverage of multiple use cases and app offers. That was the main thing. And we didn't want to, as I mentioned, tell you that, you know, the main thing is the offers. Everything else is secondary. So, but yeah, that was an important point. Prioritization of the use cases, right? So, within even within that, I, as you saw the first, uh, the winning submission, right? Even within showing these cards, which cards are supposed to be shown first up. So, you could have shown, you know, uh, the most expensive offer, for example, but that doesn't work. What works is for students, what is the most relevant offer? Again, I'm getting into nitty gritty, but that's, that's what matters, right? And also, you, as you can see, she put filters, et cetera, all up top. So those kind of elements definitely help. And focus on primary use case. I've stressed this on overall. And again, this point, I think you should remove this. This is a given now for most of the challenges, now that people are right. Well, that's pretty much it uh, from my side. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. Uh, and we will keep you posted on the next one. I think most likely we are going to do a Discord challenge because... Tomorrow, most likely, we're going to launch our Discord server. Uh, this has been in the works for some time, but we were not sure what we're doing. We got a very good idea from Anirudh, one of our uh, members. He said, Ki, all these weekend hackathon challenges, what happens is once I submit, I want to have a discussion. There's a discussion part before catch ideation, thought process, etc., which could happen. But once somebody submits, they want to you know share their thought processes, which is not possible in the current format. And maybe WhatsApp may not be the right place for it. So we've got a fantastic use case to you know leverage Discord so most likely tomorrow we are going to launch Discord, and most likely the challenge will also be on Discord because boy, is that is that is that website or app messed up, man? Especially from an admin perspective, we can't we won't give you the admin one, but from a user perspective, we'll give it. 
that's pretty much it for this uh, discussion. I hope you liked it. Uh, do stay tuned and we'll have the new challenge coming up soon. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. And see you soon.